Hey guys, welcome back to another channel episode. This is the channel where we talk all about how you don't need to be a CEO in order to have some impact on the world. And today we're going to go back to basics of the channel. We're going to go back to just updates on my learning and I'm going to talk all about my current path and my current goals and also going to tell you guys how I plan to reach them and my plan moving forward. This is really exciting because I see this as kind of like the next level of learning data science. I've gotten to the point, as you guys have seen, I've done a boot camp, I've done some, I've read some books, I have the basics down, and it's now time to specialize. And today in this video, I'm gonna be talking all about how to get your TensorFlow certification. So if that sounds interesting, please stay tuned and watch this entire video. So I got my iPad with me here and we're gonna talk all about the TensorFlow certification and how I plan on doing that. So for the TensorFlow certification, I'm actually using a template that was made by someone before. He's actually a YouTuber, his name is Daniel, and he actually has a very famous data science YouTube channel. And in the channel, he talks about how he got his uh, TensorFlow certification. Now. He did this in three months and it was a big project that he kind of did a couple of bl blogs about and made a couple of videos and he ended up getting it. So I thought that his plan was great because he managed to do it quickly, effectively and share his, um, his thoughts along the way. So actually right now I have opened his Notion page. Daniel likes to use Notion, as do I, and I find Notion to be an amazing place to store your thoughts and to plan ahead. Now, I'm doing the TensorFlow certification again in order to specialize, in order to have some, some kind of in the back of my mind knowing that I have the skills and tools needed in order to do basically any machine learning project using TensorFlow. I plan on getting this certification as quickly as possible, just like Daniel. And he said he's going to take three months and you know I'm thinking about taking two months and we'll see how that goes but I plan on showing you the whole the whole way through so please if that interests you subscribe like this video and I'll continue making more on how I use Notion to get my TensorFlow certification. So this is his plan and this is his page that I copied. He has it for you to copy I'll add the link down below. And it's basically his notes along the way. Now, an important thing to note here is how he has it broken down in a couple of, you know, to do the resources, the notes curriculum, and then kind of like a log of what he did. I plan on copying some of these aspects and I'll show you right now what I plan on copying. So his to do list was basically like the overview of like, you know, this is going to be my five step process. And he has, you know, he has around seven to-do lists, seven resources that he delved in deeply in order to get his TensorFlow certification. I'm actually only going to use uh, three, and I'll tell you what three um, later on in the video. Then he has his resources, which he has here, like the TensorFlow certification website, which is a great resource to know what's going to be on the, on the test, uh, the handbook, the environment setup, and... He has an MIT course and he has a really, really good source, which is the hands-on machine learning source. That is actually the number one source I'm going to be using for this TensorFlow certification. Then he talks a little bit of minimum requirements. Then his notes, which I'm actually going to copy. As you see here on the top of notes, he has the book hands-on machine learning. That's actually his notes. And what I did instead was I created my own link to my own notes because I do notes differently than he did. But it's important to note that I kept it on this page so I can reference anything that he thought it was important to kind of use as backup while I make my own notes. Now, as I do these notes, guys, I'm going to be sharing them with you guys. And I'm also going to be making videos where I go over my notes at the end of the week. So this week, I only just started planning how I'm going to do this. And I did the first week of, of work, but I didn't, I didn't really go into depth that much. I just did a lot of 
kind of the setting up, right? The, the, the getting the setup ready so that I can then just, you know, throughout the week, just make it a painless, painless as possible. And that's actually why I'm making this video right now is to show you guys the process. Then I'm going to also do a course. He did this course. Now the course has changed names since he's done it, but it's the same kind of specialization on Coursera. This Coursera is, is, is made kind of in conjunction with deeplearning.ai, which is an awesome source. Um, and here he has his notes for the course. And again, I'm, I only keep it there to kind of know what he did and, and to know how much he got done every week. I think he got, I think he did like two or three weeks every week in order to do a specialization, which is four courses in only, I think, well, he only did it in three months. So he did that without submitting any of the work. And then he did, lastly, he did a MIT deep learning. So remember how I told you guys how I was going to share the three resources that I was going to use the most. And so the three resources I was going to study the most is actually the TensorFlow certification handbook. I'm just going to read that, practice on that. And then there's even a practice exam that I'm going to use. Second, um, second major source I'm going to use here is the hands-on machine learning book. I'm going to read the book start to finish and work on the exercises. And the last source I'm going to use is actually the course, um, the Coursera course on, on deep learning. I think it's called TensorFlow practice something. I plan on doing that with doing most, not all of the work. And again, I'm going to be sharing that all with you guys. And I'm actually going to skip on the MIT introduction. I'm, I'm not going to use that resource. So down below, he created this curriculum, which I'm going to use a hundred percent. It's, it's really great. Notion has the ability to make, I think they're called caban boards or something like that. Um, and he has a, he basically has each step as a card and you were able to move it from the no status to not started to in progress to complete it. And as you can see, I've started this week on the TensorFlow in practice, I think the course is called the part one, which is just teaching you the introduction to TensorFlow. We basically made a really small neural network and just left it at that the first week. And I also have, well, I have the MIT here. I'm going to remove that. Actually, I can't do it right now, but I'm not working on that at all. Um, but instead I started reading the hands-on book. And so I'm going to then move that, um, over. I don't know why it's not letting me on my iPad, but that's what I'm going to do. And so you can see here, he has course one, course two, course three, and inside each card, he has a little checklist of, you know, the weeks I did. I'm going to go back and uncheck all of those. And then I'll show you guys every week. I'll show you the ones that I checked off. This is going to be a reoccurring segment. So this is my plan for the next, I think two months. And then at the end, so there's a lot at the end, he's just got some checklists, things, probably going to erase all of this because I'm not going to use it. And then at the bottom, he has a log and the log I'm going to use because the log is going to be the basis of my video next week. So next week, I'm going to consider it week two of starting the getting TensorFlow certification. And I'm going to show you the log of what I did. This is actually backwards, I'm sorry. So he has here on May 11th, he started reading two hours and then finished week one. And that's kind of the exact same format that I'm gonna make these videos. I'm gonna show you guys what I learned that week, talk about it, show you my notes, and that's gonna be the basis for these videos. If that sounds interesting to you, let me know in the comments below. And I have it right here, I have my log. So let me scroll all the way up. So this is, this is an amazing kind of template that was created by Daniel and I'm so grateful for him. Shout out to him for giving us this resource that we can duplicate and copy on Notion. Shout out to Notion for just making it up a great product. And I'm just gonna let you guys know that this is really useful for those data scientists who wanna have, don't have a lot of experience in the field, 
they want to show their employers that they have more experience than the normal person who just did a course or read a book on data science and just wants to go into the field. This shows that you are continuously learning. You know the most up-to-date techniques using TensorFlow and that will for sure be, you know, a standout um, in your applications for you looking for jobs and things like that. So that's just this video. Again, we are starting a new segment where we're going to be talking all about what I'm learning for the certification on the Google's website. And we're going to be talking about kind of the things I've learned doing that. And I'm also going to be kind of talking about the difficulties, the study tips that I pick up on the way and be sharing all my notes along the way if that interests you guys. Might even make some flashcards and share them. So if that sounds interesting, just let me know and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.